So I'm going to show you a technique to uh, fillet salmon. Uh, in this case, I've got a couple of nice sockeye here, uh, fresh from the freezer. And uh, so I use a technique that uh, I learned from uh, some natives uh, a lot of years ago. And uh, so the first thing is you got to have a, a nice, sharp, flexible knife. Uh, it really helps in the process. And first of all, do a cut on the tail over here, top and bottom. And then at the uh, anal fin here, I do a cut on either side of the fin all the way through to the tail fin cut here on both sides. Just follow that bone there. So that's through. And now I make uh, one cut over here, right down through to the uh, vertebrae, and through there, and then I flip it over. And my last cut is right here on the other side, right through to the vertebrae, and then through here till it joins up with the other side. And I take the knife, slip it in here, and just cut slowly while I'm guiding the end of it right along the top of the vertebrae. It takes a bit of practice, but uh, if you've done, done it a few times, you uh, get the feel for it. And uh, like I say, you're just following the vertebrae, the top of the vertebrae here, and cutting it all the way through to that tail fin cut. So then you just fold her back over here, make a quick cut through the uh, pin bones. Again, following the rib cage now. Cut it through there and back over here, following that rib cage. The knife blade should tightly press against the rib cage and allows you to uh, separate those rib bones from the actual fillet itself. And there we go, at the one side. So I have that sit over there. And then I take on the other side without turning the fish over and just cut again the same idea, uh, pressing the knife up carefully so that I'm riding on the bottom side of that vertebrae. Takes a bit of practice. But uh, it's nice because you don't have anything but the pin bones left after you're done. So we did that, fold this back, and now again cutting through those pin bones, the first cut. And then sliding that knife against, pressing against those rib bones as you separate this fillet from the, uh, there. and there's the end of the tail loosened up, and just follow through on that rib cage. Now you'll notice I never took the guts out of this uh, before I brought it home, and I purposely leave it that way. Uh, it actually makes it easier uh, using this technique when uh, the guts are actually left in the, in the uh, fish. So we cut off the poop chute there and there's the, the guts and the head and there are my two fillets. So all I do is I do a quick cut down the one side, quick cut down the other side, then separate this off. Got one fillet over there and another fillet 
right there. And there's some good belly meat there, which uh, is very, very tasty. And that is how I very quickly fillet my uh, sockeye salmon. A little bit of trimming that you have to do just to take this uh, silver skin off. Sometimes I take it off, sometimes I don't. Um, but there you go.